LSH Dream Experiment. Yo, what's going on? It's the one that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Traeger and various users. When this happened, the post is based off a recipe from over 20 years ago. The drugs used, LSH is the main focus of this video, though other substances were most likely present. The dose varies, and the route administration, mainly through an extraction, though some experiences may simply be straight up seeds. Okay, so today, we introduce the lysergamide LSH, or specifically known as lysergic acid hydroxyethylamide. We brought this up in a Morning Glory report not too long ago from Andrik. Now most people I don't think know that this lysergamine is present within Morning Glories. Most people tend to know about LSA, lysergic acid amide. Now the reason this is, because it's likely that those who acquire such seeds will end up with LSA. This is because over time, LSH will actually convert to LSA. Or you may have acquired Hawaiian baby wood rose seeds, which is supposed to contain just LSA and not LSH at all. So really unless you end up with a fresh harvest, you grow them yourself, or you just end up with a fresh batch by chance, it's unlikely you will consume LSH. But today's report is a bit different as I'm sure you can tell by our info on this report. There isn't a ton of information out there on LSH as is. In result, there really aren't any reports that are solely LSH experiences. There is, however, a decent handful of resources contributed by the community across the web, and today's report specifically comes from one that's found its way onto multiple forums such as Reddit, Blue Light, DMT Nexus, and so on. This post is pretty jam-packed, as it does act as a paper, so we'll only be covering the qualitative experiences Traeger has gathered, including his own, that are suspected to be caused by the LSH. Though I will say, there is more than just LSH and LSA to be found in Morning Glories, other substances that will play a somewhat significant role on the experience. But we'll get into this some more after the report. We'll explain more of what LSH is like, the Morning Glories some more, and some history behind it. This isn't a straightforward report like normal, it's a good collection of bits that attempts to capture the LSH experience. And keep in mind that LSH might not be the only active compound, even when an extract is performed. Either way, I'm sure this video will shed some light on the LSH experience and give us a better idea of what morning glories are. So, without further ado, let's dive right into this. Dream experiment number one, with eight grams, 250 seeds. Went to the mall and experienced a powerful euphoric psychedelic journey for hours long ago. Will never forget. I sat on a seat and watched a woman come and go from the changing room in the clothes section as they tried on different clothes, watching themselves in the mirror outside next to me. All the while, I waited on my wife to select her clothes as well. I was blown away with euphoria and an enjoyable psychedelic state. Even the music over the intercom sounded heavenly. I had drank the solution on the way to the mall. I continued to walk in the rest of the mall in a state of tranquility, profound happiness, and peace. Dream experiment number two with 13 grams, 400 seeds. Psychedelic effects magnified several fold. Euphoria was very powerful, energizing, not sedating. Closed eye geometrics were finally visible and spun. I have never seen these before with Morning Glories. I distinctly saw rotating colored vectors that spun 360 degrees as they moved from left to right across the visual plane. I felt like I was an extraterrestrial being, immersing myself in new sensory phenomena for the first time. The Morning Glory LSH saturated and stabilized recipe solution heightened my hearing sense, but sounds were also quite different than normal producing audio hallucinations. 1. Hermes, the Lycium Saw strong 40 latest like open eye visuals and warping and melting of furniture with only 400 seeds. There are around 32 to 36 seeds to a gram. I see amazing 3 and seemingly 4 dimensional shapes morphing and bifurcating. 
Often, I get religious and esoteric themed visuals, like fractal cherub wings and winged eyes like those in some of Alex Gray's work. Eyes are all over everything. I see pyramids and sphinxes and gingeresque biomechanical forms. I see amazing geometric weight structures. I watch mathematical, space-filling algorithms doing their thing, all of this with nothing more than 500 seeds. I also find that I can control the imagery by an act of will. Anything I intend to visualize comes forth and then goes beyond what I have imagined and then transforms into something else. This is great for artists. I could swear that on one occasion, while listening to Mozart's Requiem, heaven itself opened up inside my skull. It was incredible. Oh, the beauty. I saw glorious celestial architecture and there were seraphs singing along with the chorus and the music. I just can't even begin to describe what this was like. I had tears streaming down my face. I was in the highest ecstasy I have ever known. And all of this was nothing more than a good mindset, good music, and only 500 seeds. It was the most beautiful thing I have ever experienced, and I still feel a great joy when I think of it. I felt so whole. 2. Nogal, the Nook Yes, I know someone who tried the cold water extraction method with the Heavenly Blue variety, except with the substitution of a coffee grinder in place of a stone matate. I think that's what it's called, but I could be wrong. And a squirt of lemon in the water, with around four to 500 seeds. Closed and open eye visuals were extremely breathtaking. Some of the most prominent visions were of Aztec slash Mayan glyphic patterns. A menacing and demonic technique covered nymph made of light who tried to seduce the viewer in this bizarre trail of energy spears which each contained a different stylized animal form. Again, definitely of Aztec slash Mayan origin. 3. Earwood Report 400 older dried seeds is similar to a little less than one hit LSD. 400 fresh off vine is like about two or three hits. 4. Myself 500 milliliter spring water acidified to pH 4 with deoteutaric acid extract on 400 fresh off the vine, dark hard seeds. Saw geometric patterns on the surface of everything, with closed eyes, colored vectors spun 360 degrees while traveling from left to right across visual plane. Sounds were not only amplified, with music being heavenly, but audio hallucinations were produced. Heavy euphoria component and very strong appreciation for beauty. Remember watching a Scarlett Johansson interview on a small television and melting into the sea from her beauty amidst all the breathtaking geometrics. Tripped hard as hell in dreams. 5. Triglav I did experience morning glory seeds with a cold water extraction about 8 years ago. The extraction was performed by another person and I didn't put much notice into it. I do know however that no peppermint was involved. Nonetheless, the experience was very interesting and worth it. Mud sedation at the beginning. After that, very unique visuals appeared. First closed eye visuals, and after that, open eye visuals as well. The experience is memorable and unique. The seeds have retained much of the interest in my mind. I've sown morning glory seeds this spring for the first time, and they're now small seedlings, but growing nicely. With a bit of luck, I should have fresh seeds available by the end of summer, which will enable me to do some further experiments. 6. Dragon Rider I have also experimented with morning glory seeds a lot. A couple of times, the seeds came very close to LSD, but on other occasions, they were nothing like LSD at all. But there is more. I have combined morning glory seeds with other psychedelics, and on some occasions, they doled the effects of them. But on a few occasions, they boosted the effects of the psychedelics enormously and very few seeds were actually needed to create this effect. Okay, some very interesting takes there. LSH seems to provide mainly traditional psychedelic themes like those you might run into with shrooms or DMT, while all the while 
it seems to be closely related to LSD in terms of how the effects go. But let's break down this substance a bit, as well as we can. Now LSH seems to be the closest thing related to acid that forms naturally, and the history of it runs back much further than LSD. The Aztecs and Mayans were thought to have consumed it through an alcoholic mixture. Due to their geographical location, the morning glory seeds were in abundance and easily available as they still are today in Mexico, and it is thought that they learned how to prepare the LSH being readily available to experience. But beyond the Aztecs and Mayans, beyond morning glory seeds, the point of the paper that was published was to bring light to the potential usage of LSH back in the early days of Greece when Ulysses was formed. This idea that there were people of Greece taking LSH seems to have risen up in the 1960s though, by none other than the creator of LSD himself, Albert Hoffman, in his book The Road to Ulysses. Now morning glory seeds won't be found anywhere near Greece, neither will HBWR so we could rule that out too, but rather it's thought that the LSH was concerned through ergot. Ergot, simply put, is a fungus. It can grow on rye and other similar plants and can actually cause disease if you just consume it straight up. But it has been found that it can produce psychedelic alkaloids similar to morning glory seeds. Claviceps pespali is thought to be the affecting fungus as, compared to other members of its species, it will mainly infect wild grass and is thought to contain a stronger concentration of psychedelic alkaloids. Kakian was an ancient Greek beverage that's been described in many ways, leaving for the ingredients to be a bit loose. This beverage could easily have contained ergot, which would have led the Greeks to experiencing psychedelic effects. It's thought that it was taken by those such as Plato, Socrates, other philosophers, priests, and much more. In other words, LSH may have had some serious impact over the course of time by being present in nature. But let's go back to the morning glories. Like I said before, LSH will generally decompose into LSA over time, and typically this is the experience many may end up with. To keep the LSH from decomposing, the conditions have to be pretty specific. It can't be exposed to certain lightings, it needs to be at a certain temp. Some morning glories may be able to better retain a decent amount of LSH, despite the conditions, leading some users on a trip to be dominantly followed by LSH. But the less fresh and more exposed they are, the less likely that will happen. But there's also been findings that morning glories contain other substances alongside LSH and LSA. These substances are the following. Elamocovine, agrocovine, chinocovine, penicovine, and ergometrine. All these substances share a similar stimulating quality on the brain that LSD provides on adrenal receptors and serotonin receptors, which this may suggest that there could be a good handful of substances that are at play here if you take morning glories. But we're going to leave it there for today. This goes a lot deeper than just this, as we're just scratching the surface with this video. If you want to learn more, I highly recommend checking out the whole paper. If you want me to go into Morning Glories more, or Urgot, or Hawaiian Baby Woodrose, anything at all, let me know below and we'll do that. If you have your own report you want to see me read, there's now a submission form you can find in the link below. Or of course, send it to me at knownsubmitreport at gmail.com. If you want exclusive trip reports released every week, follow my Patreon, the link is below. And if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, share the video. It's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. When I look up in the mirror, the man doesn't look back at me. Brother told me stop and breathe, but I'll suffocate. And I had to lose the art to find myself from Haiti. My soul is so so it's on my chest, the fire of Hades. Way too many ladies are trying to have death with babies. They see them on the come up like on LSD that made me. Notice I had someone to give the shit, ask me that he I saw myself a stage in front of thousands that was saying. Living some mind that I have never heard, but it was crazy. Now I'm gonna need the people all around the world to play the lost that he saved me. The demons are coming to take me. All of my angels are falling, like scars they flaking. Thank you.